so it does take a little while, but I'm hoping. Fingers crossed, we'll get there. That'll be nice. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Cheers. And here we are at George Street, Costa Coffee, George Street, Hove. Everything's closing. And that over there used to be a betting shop, William Hill. When betting shops close, <laughs> well, normally it signals very, very bad times. And I think it's time for a walk on Hove Seafront. Yes, why not? Nearly at Hove Seafront, and that there is the pub that I first went into on my own. Goes all the way up there, the Sussex in Hove, when I was 15. Because I used to work at that hotel just down there, St Catherine's Lodge. When I was 15 years old, I was a hall porter there. Loved it, absolutely loved it. So we're gonna go down Sussex Road and you can see the sea. You might even be able to see the wind farm in the distance. And here we are down on Hove Seafront now. And in the distance, right on the horizon, you might be able to pick out the, the wind farm. Possibly, not sure. Anyway, we're walking that way. There's good old Morocco's. Been there all my life, that has great ice cream. And look, they've got a queue. You should see that queue in the summer. Stretches right along the street. 21 degrees here in Hove today. Not much wind either, so it's really, really nice. What a glorious day in Hove today. We're hitting the lawns now, that's behind the beach huts. Grand Avenue and I-360, what a complete waste of money that was. Now that British Airways have withdrawn the sponsorship, no doubt it will disappear, never commercially viable. Taxpayers money wasted. Now we're looking up for uh, Grand Avenue uh, with the Queen Vic Memorial at the bottom there in the middle. And that's the Hove Plinth. Meant to represent a constellation of stars with all different things that are local, like you've got the seagull there, you've got uh, the oak tree, you've got a skateboarder, bat, batsman there, camera, the windmill of course. And there it is, there's a little bit of information about it. Constellation by Jonathan Wright. A mechanical model of the solar system. Well, I never. Ten and Hove Council, you really are a disgrace, aren't you? Apart from the millions wasted on the I-360, you closed these toilets over three months ago for refurbishment, and they're still closed. Let's see if the gents is open the other side. Disabled toilet closed. Gents, it's got to be closed as well, I guess. Yep, absolute disgrace, disgrace. Dreadful. Over three months, just to renovate, that's all. Hello mate, filter coffee and bacon sandwich on white, please. A coffee with a view and awaiting my bacon butty. Life's good. Small pleasures, eh? Unsproked, unsmoked British back bacon on buttered white bread for a sandwich. Lovely. So hard to find unsmoked bacon in Malta. Yeah, so hard. We have some, but uh, there aren't many people that supply it. It's all smoked, all about smoke bacon in Malta. Glade Crescent over there, which leads on to Palmyra Square. That's Brunswick Terrace. And then that next square is where I was born. Brunswick Square, number 15. 
go, that's Brunswick Square. On the right was where I was born, about halfway up, number 15. And this is my beach. This is where I used to go all the time. Happy days. This is what is now the Mercure Hotel. I worked there when I was 15, and it was the Norfolk Hotel then, owned by Alf Feld. He was the mayor of Brighton, I think, once. His son took it over, Robert Feld, made it into a PLC, got Flash uh, head office for a group of hotels he bought, and promptly got banged up. Never ever trust a company whose head office is out of all proportion to the reality of their business. Ridiculous offices, I guess. Famous Brighton bandstand. And down below they've got a cafe these days. There. It used to be toilets. <laughs> and there's the West Bend. When I was uh, seven, eight, nine, I used to go there with my mum all the time. We used to call it West Pier. It's the best pier. Brighton Hove City Council, congratulations. You actually got that open again this season. Wonders will never cease. Coming onto a restaurant now that's had a mixed past. The Seahorse it's called now. It was quite nice. I've done it up for the season. Hopefully it's going to be successful. And there's the upside down house. Why would you? But dear, that's new for 2023. Brighton Fringe Busking Spot. Very good. That was the entrance to the West Pier up there, which they preserved, but obviously nothing going across to the pier which burnt down. Nice to see it a bit lively down here. The Bug Club in a Volkswagen camper underneath what is now the Brighton I360. Not the British Airways I360, the Brighton I360. We carry on. Normally at this point, I would pop into the Grand Hotel. What you're looking at right now is the Metropole, which is next door to the ground the beige hotel there. I'd normally pop in there and have a large uh, Hennessy, but I'm not going to today because they don't have an outside seating area. I don't want to be indoors, so mainly in the winter. Pop into Cafe de la Mer. A mate of mine used to own this place. I think he's sold it now. Uh, let's get a magnet and ice. Another converted toilet. Very nice. We continue walking to Brighton from Hope. Nice installation, isn't it? Uh, all prints, local artists. It's there all year round. Good job there, converting that. That was an amusement arcade once. Now it's Shelter Hall. Good food, good drinks. Fortune of war, been there forever. Actually, when was 1882. Fortune of War, been there since 1882. There used to be another bar, actually. I think it was there in the corner. I think it was called the Belvedere. Long time ago. And there's the Brighton Pier, or the Palace Pier, as it's known locally. When I was a kid, these, all of these, everything that you've seen so far, and in the distance there, and everything here, there was nothing, absolutely nothing. They were all empty arches. Let's go and have a look at a couple of hotels that I worked at in my teens as well. 
Guess what? They're up this ramp. There's a the Palace Pier, better view of it. And there's the Old Chip Hotel. Old Chip Hotel, Hove, circa 1980, no, 1979. I worked there, commie chef, commie chef there. And in the distance there, Queen's Hotel. I was a hall porter and a commie chef there. Up until the age of about 17 when I moved out to Kemp Town with the uh, Royal Crescent Hotel. That was a good hotel. Sadly no more, all apartments now. Heading up towards the Brighton Lanes. It's a pub in Brighton, I think. Oh, it says it up there. Oh, there it is. Oldest pub in Brighton. Still part of the Dave Day group of Golden Lion. The Cricketers, Brighton, established 1547. So it says I wasn't around. <laughs> 